where do viruses survive during off seasons? I never understood how they suddenly appear. Part two, could viral spread be instigated by immune systems which are unable to keep latent viruses in check? Be instigated. I don't know, I don't know about the part two so much. Um, Sorry, I was working on. <laughs> this, this, this is why people hate people who pun. It's not that, it, like, I like oh, I don't like, oh, I was really? Gonna, I was going to sing, but. Um... Oh, I like people who sing. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going to do it because I didn't I quite it. nail oh, okay. the lyric. Okay. Um, but we were close. We almost had it. We were gonna. <laughs> we were gonna. Um, you swear and dad puns or dad sings rather. Yeah. Okay. They like the combo. Well, in this case, it's a song that is intolerable. So um, I'm not gonna do it. Um, but Fine. disappoint everyone. Fine. <laughs> uh. I'm going to disappoint everybody rather than punish them with We're, my poor singing of a terrible song that has been translated uh, to restate the question. So the first part of the question yes. uh, was about where do viruses go when it's not the... When it's not flu. It's like, where, where are all those flu viruses, of which there are apparently lots, we are told, when it's not flu season? Well, why, doesn't it, why? Here, it's July. In the Pacific Northwest. Yep. It's gorgeous here. No one has the flu right now. Chile. Right, but the virus is traveling? Like, the virus isn't migrating? Totally. Really? Using planes. Okay. No, I mean, that's what's happening. Uh, but, the, but, then it's, but then it's just not here at all. Is, well, is is your argument? My guess. So and no, I, no, I I I it's think be here I think a little. The, I think the idea is that somehow it's latent, but I don't know what that. I also no, 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 don't no, no, know no. what that means. It's like this: if we um, if we back Ryan Cole's um, point about there is no such thing as flu and uh, cold. and cold season, mm -hmm. there is only vitamin D deficiency season. Right, right. Um, we back that off slightly. The idea would be, but then it's always it's it's out there, right? Like it's out there, and your susceptibility to it is well, is based on again your health. Presumably, right? people are getting on planes where it is flu and cold season, arriving, and the virus does not get okay, to an okay. R. No, 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 no. Hundred years ago, flu existed, right. and flu existed in both hemispheres, both north and south hemispheres, and people weren't flying back and forth. Okay, and certainly, you know, boat trips and such weren't explaining like it. it that that may that may explain why things are worse and stupider and crazier now with regard to flu, cold and flu season. But that's not that's not a fundamental. Um, no, no, it's not uh, fundamental. Uh, but but I do think. I mean, a, I don't think we have the evidence. I think we know a certain number of things, like uh, flu season may have switched um, between summer and winter, and the reason ostensibly is that. People were holed up in their houses and not in contact with each other in the winter in, uh, you know, in remote places. Right. So again, that's consistent with like, it's, it's out there. It's latent. It's like in people, but not making them sick. No, no, it's, it's latent like to... in the population. There's a tiny number of people who are anomalously sick in modern times. Are there though? Uh... It, like in, right now in the Pacific Northwest. And forget the islands. The islands are low population. In Seattle or in Vancouver right now, are there people with flu? There are people with colds, like summer colds, whatever exactly that means, sure. But are there people with flu right now? Well, I'm not sure that when we say summer cold, that we are not talking in some cases about a flu that is Okay. So light. diseases manifest differently depending on how severe a case you have and how severe a case you have is not inherently dependent on the strain, you know, the exact genetic read, the reading of exactly what that thing is, but is very much dependent on how healthy you are at the point you are exposed to it. Right. Okay. So you know, but so there's a there's an if there, there's an assumption yep. in the model, which is that you know summer colds includes also flu. And that some amount of summer sickness is all of those things that in winter more people are are getting sick and 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 everyone who's getting sicker pretty much is getting sicker than they would have if they had been sick in the summer. So let's say you've got variation in severity 
which may be uh, about your degree of health in the different seasons. The same same viral strain would hit you differently. Right. There's going to be latency where viruses wait for a signal that it's a moment that they should start replicating. So there's going to be a dormancy issue for some viruses. So that's the like it's out it's it's out there, right? It's and, out it may, there. and it may be in you, right? But um, but it's not. It's waiting for. Well, let's it's put it waiting for an opportunity. I believe this is why the largely myth of, you know, you're going to catch your death a cold, right? If yeah. you go out in the cold, you're going to get sick. It's huh? out there? What? Right. Like, no. No. What it is. You may have is, something riding on you already. Yeah, you may be harboring something, yeah. and then you may trigger it to emerge because it detects that this is a good moment to do that. If your body is having to put all of its resources to making sure you don't lose a limb, you know, you know that you don't, that you have enough calories to stay warm, um, that's a good moment to strike. Right. Or, you yeah. know, you know, that you could also run it a different way, like... Um, if an ancestor would have been jeopardized by the level of cold that you just exposed yourself to, then maybe it's mm. now or never. And so something, you know, like a last ditch effort at reproduction from a plant that you've just ah. snipped off, uh, a virus might detect it. Hey, it's time to, it's time to boogie, you know? Yeah. I, I don't know that they talk like that, but they might. Oh, they might. Yeah, no, no, they yeah. might. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think they samba, actually. Viruses. <laughs> some, some of them undoubtedly. Some of them. Yeah. 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 The, the more cultured ones. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Cool. Yeah, no, I think, I, yeah. Yeah, we got some useful stuff on the table. Yeah. You know. Yeah, including boogieing viruses. Boogieing viruses. Yeah. The boogieing viruses would be a, a, a good name for a, a hard-working band, you know. Yeah. Yeah, one that gives you earworms. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, ivermectin works on earworms, but you got to get it really deep in there. Don't you have to shove an entire horse in your head? <laughs> um, That's weird. The whole, the whole story there was weird. Yeah, it was a little off. It was a yeah. little off, and that wasn't our fault either. No. Nope.